All right, here we go, 4 p.m. It's time to start the stream. All right, so this is the third stream and we are going to continue exactly where we stopped in the previous one and that's uh, building the rest of this uh, uh, shipping container. And this is basically what I'm going for. Let me just find, there we go. So. We started building up on uh, the bars that are supposed to hold up this thing together. Let me just fix up this thing. There we go. So we're supposed to build uh, this thing. Well, and the only thing that I have so far is just the holder right here. All right, so let's go on and build some of the uh, supporting so I can actually build this with just a straight line and add in these uh, covers here, which shouldn't be that hard. All right, so let's do it. I'm gonna get it so it goes from the top, so not front, but let's go from back. All right, awesome. Here I can see that this thing should have two of these, which means one to the left and one to the right. So, all right, so uh, control, right click and align go from the top let's just make sure it's yeah it goes from about there to all the way down there now i did create a line but since it's behind here it really doesn't show all right now it's better let's give it some thickness make sure it's radial it's fine thickness of let's try it Four centimeters should work, I think. Yeah, this should work. Let's just make sure it goes all the way down to about here. It doesn't overlap to anything. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay, so next I want to add in just a rough estimate of where things are supposed to be at. So this is what I'm looking at at the moment. Uh, I know that I have these uh, pieces up here. They're supposed to like clip on here. So this thing can, the bar can go into it and lock. So I'm gonna need something to put the bar here. I'm gonna need this thing, one here, another one here, and another clipper down here. All right, so that means one, two, and I just need to create three uh, different items for it. So put it to the side. Let's start off with, well, let's go with the easiest one. And the easiest one would be basically this piece over here where I can just extract geometry from what I already have. So I'm gonna remove these two edges because every time, like I've showed you so far, every time you create geometry out of splines, it's going to try to cap that uh, one of the edges. I don't, want, I, I don't want that. So go in here, just line up where I want to have that cylinder. I'm basically using a shortcut for the sweep loop. There we go. So I can select this thing as a cylinder, detach, detach it as a clone. All right, awesome. Now select both of oops, both of those. Control backspace because I don't need to have those uh, edges. Now select the geometry that we just uh, extracted. And from here, just give it a shell. Now with this shell, I can put a edit poly, select the uh, outer edge, control, uh, click on the polygon and scale it inwards just so I get that kind of a look that we're going for. And another thing that I might want to add is I'm going to isolate this thing for now and on the edge right here and probably on the bottom one as well i'm gonna give it a slight chamfer a very very slight chamfer something like 0 0.2 maybe all right so i can take that one and that one ring control and give them their own smoothing group so now go with that one and that one, control, collect, smoothing group, their own. 
So now if I put a turbo smooth on top of this thing with smoothing groups, I should get a ni nicer look, but ah, damn it. Since we uh, made this thing out of a, a spline, this thing has a different uh, smoothing group, so I have to put a, you know, another one like so, like so. Okay, so just as we went on, this is what we have. This is a nice piece to hold up what we are doing here. So now the only thing that I'm missing is the holder for this thing, which is this uh, metal part. So let's go ahead and create that one. So create a plane. A plane could be about this big. Could be zero by zero, or actually one by one. And I can even try to do the, ah, let's just do it manually then. So let's move this thing up front so I can actually see what I'm doing. Like so. Give it a bit of a shell. Yeah, that's good. All right. It's going to work like this. Edit poly. Chamfer these edges. Let's give them like you yeah this is gonna work now select both of those loop really nah of course all right all right control backspace let's do that thing before we do anything else so deselect those Select that one and that one. And now chamfer these. A very small amount, like let's try 0 0.1. That's gonna work. So now ring and chamfer here. Strike one and give it a few segments. much better I have this plate that I can just put it here so it's gonna look like it's being bolted on the actual door All right, so I select both of those make them gray I want you to make them darker shade of gray so for now I'm gonna actually gonna leave them like this later on I'm gonna put in more details for this thing depending on how uh, how more detailed we want it to be especially i want to have some details for the grooves here like uh i can see that i have something like a piston or whatever but for now i just want to have a placeholder for this thing so one up here and the other one is going to be all the way down so hold on shift break it all the way to about there Copy it up, that's fine. Turn off the turbo smooth. We don't need turbo smooth at the moment. There you go, okay. Next thing is <clears throat> adding in just the, huh, are these the whole, oh, yeah, this is basically the same thing as we just did with the bigger holder just this is one this one is a scaled version so that should that's what I'm gonna do here just so I save up some time I'm gonna take these two move it upwards just like this and when I'm here I'm just gonna scale it on the z-axis but just make sure that everything looks fine in this case I think everything is fine so it has one and two. All right, so you have two of these. We can put them pretty much anywhere we want, as long as it's holding the door, like so. And give this thing a different color, like so. Okay, and the only thing that I'm missing for this thing to work is the clipper on the bottom. And that clipper is really not 
anything that's gonna be too complicated it's just a piece of metal that is supposed to help me with clipping in this uh, bar so for it what I can do is the way to do this the easiest way I think would be again get a cylinder in here so take the cylinder like that detach detach it as a clone again and again remove that edge that we, because we won't be needing it and just select what we just created effect center to object move it upwards and we just want to have something that can go in here but actually be a square so in order to do that what I'm going to do is put a edit poly here and move this thing as a shell outwards. Let's try it with, oops, no. Let's try it like this. All right. Poly. Move this thing downwards. Well, actually, for now, I can actually leave this thing as it is. I just want to have a placeholder for this. And like I said, depending on how uh, detailed I want this thing to be, I can later on come in here and detail it further. I'm probably even uh, going to go in and check for more detailed reference so I can actually see how this thing really looks in the real uh, world. So for now I just know that I have something to hold it. And at some point I'm gonna have to go in and give everything here a proper naming convention because at the moment everything I select is named object 1 and object 2 a cylinder or whatever and generally that's a very 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 bad idea. On whatever project you're using because you're gonna sooner or later you're gonna run into a problem but because a bad naming convention in a project can sometimes kill your project and this is not even a joke All right, so yeah let's just create one bar here So, all right, we have the bar. Okay, I can see that this bar should have some width. Okay, so select it, move it downwards to about there, I guess. Show and poly. Connect with two segments. I think this is gonna be okay. And move this thing like nah, I'm not gonna do it that way. So for this, what I'm gonna do is Adding one here. And bevel it outwards. Alright, so it doesn't go all the way back to about there. Okay. bevel it outwards now yeah this is a bit better now all right so we have a rough uh, idea on how this thing is gonna look like the thing is that as I'm looking at it right here this is supposed to be a much slimmer look so scale it inwards like that 
because this is supposed to be a handle that you can like manually open up. What we had was a, a tad bit too thick. All right. Like that. And there is another um, piece that goes on top of here. So select it like that. I need this thing to be selected. It's fine. So detach as a clone. Okay. Put it there. Right, shell. Make sure we have straightened corners. Yeah, this can work. So now I just want to isolate this and remove all of those edges that are not giving us anything or not bringing anything to the model. Delete those. And for this, I'm going to put a chamfer on this. A really smaller amount, like 0.1. So it's going to be. A tension of 0 0.5. The corners are fine. Edit poly. Select everything. Give it their own smoothing group. Wait, let's try to 20. Nah. All right, be 35 then. Not happy again with it. So let's go and manually select all the edges that I want to have. Like that. So, okay. So now they should have a sharper turn. Great. All right. So for this, let's simply add in a turbo smooth with the smoothing groups. And in the edit poly, let's give every of these, all of these uh, edges their own smoothing groups. Like so. Okay. Yeah. I do want to have a bit of a chamfer on this side though. So a small chamfer like uh, 0 0.1 should do us good there we go much better and I do want to have uh, this thing as, as a bit of a slope so just give it a slope like that yeah much better much cleaner result can live with this. All right, so take these two, give them a different color. I probably should fix this. Yeah, that's fine. Shell is fine. I just need to move these guys in a bit more so they're not standing so far out. Thing looks like so far. Hey, what up, man? Let's see. All right, so I can remove both of those, and now select all the elements that I have here cre I've created for this. Just check to make sure that there's only one handle. Yes, there's only one. Nice to have you back, man. 
Even though it's Saturday, I can see the people are still online, which is good. So move this up to about there, I guess. Yeah, not bad, man, not bad. Came back to uh, finish up with modeling of this thing and hopefully get some ideas about what to do next. You're still in bed. Well, goddamn. It has to be nice, man. It has to be nice. I know it's Saturday and people like tend to like relax on Saturday, but like I said, uh, my idea here was to like stream on Tuesday and Thursday. But since this uh, past Thursday was my birthday, I decided to like switch it off to Saturday for this week. But generally, I will not be streaming on. I will not be streaming on Saturdays. I'm gonna try to do it at least. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday if time permits otherwise it's gonna be just like one of those days or I'm gonna like put in some uh, note or uh, a schedule so everybody can know when or when to find me you know but for now I can continue like we're doing it right now alright so let me just select all of this now what I want to do is uh, I'm gonna group all of this. Call it group one doesn't matter because, like we said, naming conventions at the moment is all shit. So mirror it, just copy. Or what I can do is with this edible plant selected. And I'll line it here, go to pivot, 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 that's fine, and just mirror it now on the X, and this is exactly going to be the same place where I need it to be, so now it's based on the center, or exactly where it's supposed to be, this is what I want. Alright, so now I can ungroup this thing, I can ungroup this previous one as well. And I have a shutter for my door. And now the only thing that I can see that I'm missing on this container is something that's a very, very like uh, minor detail. But if I take a look at here, I can see that I have these uh, bars on the corners. And there, I'm guessing there are some sort of a reinforcements for the steel door. And all of the things are actually attached to those bars. So. Let's go ahead and quickly add in those bars to the door. So for that, I'm gonna need to select the door, isolate them, and just do this. Hey, what up, man? Finally. Well, I don't know, uh, is this the first time you're uh, on the stream? I know last time we had like four or five people that were joining in, but I'm not sure if you were one of them though. I moan design. All right. So this is your first time, huh? Well then, welcome to the stream. Oh, you were watching YouTube. Well, YouTube doesn't count. YouTube, you can see uh, how the stream went. But if you want to actually be part of the stream and give some ideas and stuff or pitch in uh, anything, you have to be on, uh, on Twitch. All right, so let's go and insert this thing. And this is going to give me about 10 centimeters for this. It's going to be fine. I'll delete here. Let me see how this thing is going to look with that 10 centimeters. Hmm. 10 centimeters on that side looks okay. Alright, this, this is fine. 
Hey, I'm a design man. Uh, do you got any more ideas, maybe? Like, if you watched on YouTube, maybe you want to add in something, or maybe something you've seen, or maybe something about the interior. I don't know. Just add in some ideas in the chat. Because so far, what I've got is I have an idea on how I want to create the uh, actual structure for this uh, project but when it comes down to how this thing is gonna look like or how the interior is gonna be made I have absolutely no idea so this is gonna be on the fly project uh, so what I want to do is snap this thing there snap it over there Remove this. Oh, no, 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 remove that. At least not before I add in a shell. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't actually burn up your PC, man. Fired up. <laughs> Alright, so. Crap. Well, this thing is a tad bit too big then. So this only means that I'm gonna have to get the bottom to go up and cover up that whole area. Select the top, cover up all this area. Now, move it inwards like that. Oh, you want to use uh, keyboard shortcuts. Well, shit. Uh, I was actually, uh, for the last few days, I've been trying to finish up a tutorial I've been working on, but for some reason, Max really does not like when I use a lot of instances of certain geometries and stuff. So I tried to, uh, try, uh, I tried to get it to work on Max 2017, but for some reason it does crash a lot. I'm not sure why, maybe when it has some overlapping UVs. So I tried doing that on 2018 version of Max, but there I have no uh, shortcuts uh, made up, no UI set up. So since I've had a lot of people, and I do mean a lot of people asking me how I, do, uh, I, how I have set my shortcuts or how I've uh, set up my UI, how I've set up all of these buttons at the side here. I'm actually thinking about creating just a separate video about how to set up Max when you first started up with it. With it. So you have uh, V-Ray as your uh, rendering uh, engine, how to set up all of these little uh, buttons, how to install scripts, and all that just in one short video. So whenever somebody like comes in and asks me about what I use, I can just reference them over to that video. So that one is going to be like a bonus video. Once I finally managed to get that damn tutorial finished and get it up on uh, YouTube. But yeah, you will see me uh, basically take all of those uh, sh keyboard shortcuts that I have and uh, set them up and I will explain uh, where I use them and how I use them. So put this thing as a shell. Give it a, like a one centimeter shell. Ah, uh, one centimeter is too much. So I just need to go inwards. Yep, that's been in the works, but like I said, Max loves to crash. And every time Max crashes, uh, a kitten dies, it dies in the world. And Thanks to people that work in uh, Autodesk and them not willing to fix their shit, a lot of kittens die every day. That's a sad story, but it's true. Oh yeah, Max loves to crash. I think that's uh, what Max does for fun. Okay, so now what I want to do is, uh, even though this is supposed to be like an accented uh, uh, thing on the corners, what I want to do is select 
the bottom and the top. And as you notice, I uh, added in these two lines. And the reason for this is when I detach, I'm not gonna detach this clone, but actually detach those two. And now check it in. So cap this thing on this side, cap it here, cap it there and cap it on this side. actually go in here now look remove and no I cannot remove crap all right leave it like that for now then because when I do that I actually remove this one which is I don't want to remove that one damn it so remove that one control control backspace yeah there we go so double click double click all backspace remove those edges dude control s is not a problem the problem is when max decides to do a hard crash and corrupt my file and when that shit happens uh, I have to go back and actually look for the auto save and on certain projects that are like uh, heavier projects I tend to turn off auto save so when max decides to like go apeshit crazy and fuck up my uh, save file. What happens is I have to go back a few hours if I haven't like uh, done a better iteration of that thing, which is come to think of it, let's just add in one new iteration. So Twitch scene 04. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, yeah, like I said, auto backup is a godsend, but some uh, on some projects, uh, I've actually had a case where I had to like turn it off, 0 0.8, so two millimeters, that's fine. I had to turn it off because uh, it when it you, like does the auto save, if it's on a heavier uh, scene sometimes you can even crash max and that's a really really shitty thing to do but still there we go so cap x minus 2 minus 0 0.2 and x 0 0.2 Cap and cap. Well, lately I've been working on high poly, low poly, pretty much any sort of poly. So, all right. So let's give it a small chamfer here. A very, very small chamfer in this case. Chamfer one would be even. I think that wouldn't be too much. 0.05. Yep. All right, copy this thing. Paste it right here as an instance. All right. So now I have those two plates that are supposed to go on top of here. Oh, wait a second. Something's. There's some sort of fucker going on here. I can see that there's this line, which tells me that somewhere here there might be, oh, yep. See the polygon over here? Uh, actually the vertex. Control oh, backs. ah, for fuck's sake. Really? The fuck is this? Why? Why do you exist? Really? the hell seriously ah okay so that was uh, just a lighting issue okay that, that's gonna work so let's come in here go backspace all right 
So now with the chamfer, we shouldn't be any problem. All right. That is okay. Again, gonna do the same thing over here, but this time just, nah, just manually move it. Okay, so I think I have enough of detail on this thing for a, string, uh, for a first pass that I can call this thing more or less uh, prepped up so we can continue working on different things. I just want to get some more color in here like so. All right. Since this is a different color, I want to have some distinction between it. I know this really doesn't count for too much when you actually add in uh, materials, but when I work, I tend to ha like to have like distinction between the models that I do. All right, this is okay. So save. All right, so with this. Pretty much have the first container for the house now this is where you guys are going to come in the guys that are actually on live at the stream or if you are watching on youtube i would like you to go down into the comment section and leave your comments as to how you would like to see this thing uh proceed or how you would like to uh see me create this house like so far uh, from the first stream we went over to uh, some of the ideas and generally from what I've watched on YouTube especially about videos and how they build these things what happens is uh, they are going to set the house on a plateau or they're gonna raise it up on beams in this case right here on this house you can see that uh, this entire uh, house has been raised up on uh, these concrete beams that are uh, placed up on the corner for all of those uh, shipping containers which means the uh, even though this uh, land can be uh, well not flat since we've built up uh, all of these uh, poles and they're off from the uh, from the ground they can be made so they're all at the same level so you're gonna have the whole house being uh, leveled or we can just uh, do it on a piece of slab or concrete and just slap it on top of there so that's going to leave us uh, with the addition to be able to like make a patio outside continue up uh, like this or you can even put it like here on locks but I don't know I would never use this thing for locks we can pretty much do different designs so now it comes time to choose what sort of a design we would like you see here is another uh, version where we actually have this thing lifted up on uh, steel beams this is another good thing or we can do something like this a small uh, ri uh, rise here and everything so this is basically like one two three containers and in the middle here you have this nice patio uh... hmm Unless, actually this is not a really bad idea how to create this because with this thing i'm gonna really have to decide on what sort of a design i would like to do because Honestly, I like a design that has like uh, two stories or something like this. I really like this one as well. But the thing with the two stories is that like, for example, this one. I think that this is just one container going uh, across and another one on top of it. And since this one going on top of it uh, uh, has an overhang on this side, you can use this thing as a garage 
and you can uh, use the actual roof for the first uh, one as a balcony and on top of the second one we can put in some so solar panels so that can look more interesting so what do you guys think what would you like to see would you like to see a two-story design or are you guys leaning more towards something like this all right let's see what is this Oh, this is an interesting design as well. All right, so this is basically one, two, three. And there's probably even one in the back, but maybe not. But so three or four of these crates. And then with, uh, interesting. All right, any more ideas? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I want it to be different. I don't want to just make uh, something that you, you can see pretty much in, anywhere. So this is where you guys come in. Give me some ideas. Uh, go ahead, scour like uh, scour the internet, scour uh, Google, find some ideas. Leave them here in the chat in uh, the stream or if you're watching this on YouTube leave it down in the comments I will check it out uh, because the more uh, interesting idea it is the more fun is gonna be to create it and well if it's something that's gonna be like challenging or whatever for you guys you can may maybe see how I fuck up and then how I find a way to unfuck up but I do like this idea though it's an interesting way of creating it. Well, what was that? Oh, amazing. This is the first uh, follow that I got while streaming. And that uh, sound that just came in, well, shit, that scared the shit out of me. All right, so again, come on guys, this is your time. Anyone in the stream, now is your time. Now you gotta find some things to do. I'm in, I'm in design, have fun man. Leave some ideas in the YouTube channel later. I will leave, uh, as soon as I finish up with this stream and it's uh, probably gonna be like in an hour and a half or so. I will upload it on YouTube and you guys leave your comments over there. I would love to see any ideas that you come up with. And also remember, uh, leave ideas about the interior as well. I don't want to just get exterior ideas. I want to get interior ideas because uh, as far as exterior goes, now the only thing that I'm going to have to create is create some uh, versions where I'm going to have to uh, cut out some of the walls. So that is going to require me to create some uh, doors and windows for it. And that is not going to take too much time. So having the windows and doors is not a problem. The, the issue is going to come later on when we decide what we want to put inside the actual house. So again, whatever you find is going to be helpful. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No. What is this? This looks like somebody was up on mushrooms when he designed this. You gotta be high as a kite to do this. Although... That's an interesting design for the windows. I wonder how this thing is gonna look like for lighting interior you know even though this thing looks wacky it might be fun to watch it uh, or see how this thing looks like later on oh snap I just got an idea what do you guys think about creating uh, a two-story building but the second story is gonna be like uh, one uh, entire crate like this toppled up on uh, some other crates and this part here I can take and basically cut up 
one piece over here in the middle and one piece over there and just give it a slope right there and make this thing like an old uh, glass window it's gonna be like a rollover so it's gonna have this slope for a kids room or something like that that sounds like an interesting idea I actually might pick that idea up it's interesting all right well I guess Today is the day we get more ideas in. Hmm. All right, so. All right, here's a simple question. What are we gonna go with? Are we gonna go with uh, actual beams that are gonna uh, keep this thing off the ground? Or are we gonna have just a slab of uh, whatever and not have anything underneath the house? What do you guys think? Are we going for something like this? Or are we going for something like a full uh, slab? Something like this. All right, so I'll remove that. Close this. All right, first thing I'm gonna save this thing is like this. And now, before I do anything else, uh, so this thing is named Beam Space is named Jamal Wallace for Door Door. Go to geometry, fine. All right, you know what? Just one piece, everything's gonna be the same. Simple bar, locking bar. Attach all of these together. Yeah, I know. It's kind of going to depend on the terrain or location. And at the moment, I still don't know what sort of terrain I'm going to make this thing. Okay, so. Uh, locks a one. Ah, damn it. No, 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 no. No. Don't screw this up. So too. So this is gonna all be just once. All right, screw it. No, 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 no. Well, it's not only gonna be exterior because I want to get this thing to be exterior plus interior. I want to have different uh, rooms as well. At the moment, we're like choose you holy crap this is interesting look all right but this thing is gonna be huge so you see this is one two three four five six seven eight containers with a lot of uh like space in between and see mm, when it gets to some uh, when it gets down to like building a scene like this with a lot of open space rendering here is going to be a bit of a bitch and the reason for this is that i'm gonna have to create quite a bit of the exterior as well like foliage trees and i'm generally faking as much of the uh, environment as possible is going to be a bit tricky so hence i'm really not gonna be bothering with creating a scene that's gonna have all this opening uh, up um, like in here so I'm gonna try to like minimize the openings because when I all right I'm not gonna say when I but if I 
decide to take this thing inside Unreal and create an uh, exterior out there, it's going to be much easier because you basically can sculpt in the terrain, use some of the uh, trees that you get from uh, Speed Tree or whatever and scatter them around really easy. Like the foliage stuff in Unreal is a blast. Foliage, doing the foliage inside uh, 3ds Max is not so fast. You can use the uh, Forest Pack Pro thing, but still, meh. makes me cringe. All right, but so far, so good. So let's see this thing. Ah, shit. All right, all right, all right fuck it. Let's just go attach this thing together like so. Bar cover. Like that. It's fine. Really? It's just... Oh, whatever. 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 Anything goes. Just want to get rid of all of those individual pieces. Um, Bar holder O3. Okay. Okay, once I have everything you like so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group, actually I'm not gonna group shit. I'm gonna actually put this thing into their own layer. Call this thing um, main main what? Main container. Now what is this? Of course, of course, of course, of course. Cylinders are what? Okay, so these guys. Uh, corner. Door. Cylinders are one. Fine. All right, so now comes the interesting part, the design for this thing. If I take everything in here and I group it together, like so. So far, this is a 36,000 polygon. This is nothing. Ha! I laugh in your polygons. All right, so let's see if I go do something like this. So copy it up there. So it can no, no. Okay. So now we have both of these, one on top of the other. Yep, this is okay. This can work. And if I'm following this thing, I have a nice height for it. So let's say we have one more going across on the back. So we can do something like this image that I was looking at I don't think there is even a back here so I'm guessing instead of doing it that way what they've done is they just took one of more container put it about there let's compare yep yep this is what they've done they took that container here so they are building 
the roof design going from over here down to a slope to about there which is not a bad idea let's test it out and see how this thing is gonna look like so we can do that with a simple plane like so What the fuck did I do? Okay. So on the X is gonna be there. Alright, and poly. Move it down to about here. Alright, so is this what they've done? Yeah, more or less. So with this thing, it kind of looks okay, but the problem here would be that when I create this thing, this entire house is going to be way too dark, and it's gonna it's gonna look too industrial. I wanted to have that nice feeling feeling for like a living house. So for now, I'm not gonna even though this is a nice design that has some nice uh, ideas. The only thing that I might pick up from this is uh, if you take a look at the corners here for this entire roof design, you can see that everything here is strengthened, uh, strengthened up or strengthened up with uh, nice metallic construction, which is another thing that I've seen uh, about these houses is whenever they're building something and especially if they're uh, Cutting in ins uh, inside or on the corners. Yeah, sure, man. Andrews, uh, thanks for watching, man. Uh, I will put this thing up on YouTube. <laughs> Go charge up your battery, bro. And I'll see you next time, man. Peace. Uh, the thing here is that when they cut out uh, some of the, the holes on the side of the uh, containers, what happens is you get uh, a lot of the structural integrity to like uh, be lessened up so it loses structural integrity so it needs to be like strengthened uh strengthened up with some steel beams all right so let's remove this i'm actually gonna remove this thing as well remove that one and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to do you know, remove. Oh no. Let me just save this thing. Now, what I want to do is create. Two of them, one next to the other. Good. So this should give us quite a bit of uh, room to play around inside. Put in one on top of here. Just snap it so it can get where it's supposed to be at, right there. Snap it right like that. Now, rotate around in degrees. Okay, so if we put it like this, what, what happens is I'm going to get a lot of space over here. So that leaves me the chance to basically take one more of these. And by the way, if you're watching me do this, know that I have no clear uh, idea about the design so far. So anything that I'm doing at the moment is just like 
trying to find something that works so it might be a lot of time spent on just me going up back and front back and front trying to find a design that works so yeah bear with me all right so we have two like this I actually like this uh, space here because I can use use it as a uh, top balcony or whatever and here I'm gonna try to find something I gotta find something to put here let's see if what happens if we take one more of these and put it right here yeah man you know what it would have been faster if i was like using a sketch but eh. now that i actually know the design not the design but the actual size of these uh things and i can see how they look in 3d when you place them down you get a uh, you get a feel as to how big this thing is for example like uh if i want to get a better look or a better idea or what i can do is just put in a dummy not a dummy but uh where the hell is it uh oh really a bipad that's gonna work and for the height i can put it at like 185 centimeters so now this is giving me an idea of how big this thing is compared to like a humanoid that would be 185 and I would consider that a regular size human, mainly because that's how tall I am. So if you're taller than me, that's good for you. If you're shorter, well, you're shorter. Nothing you can do about it. But whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, don't don't go crazy. Really. So now you, you get you get an idea of how big this thing is. You see? So when you go inside. Yeah. You know, you know, you can be taller than me, doesn't matter. I'm tall enough so short people can envy. <laughs> no hate towards shorter people though. All right, now, if I have this, the only thing that I'm kind of missing that I can do, my main idea here was also to have an overhang a bit so I can build a bit of a, uh, well, you know what? If we're gonna do it this way, I might as well get this thing to snap over there. So I'm gonna get a lot more space in here. Okay, this is gonna work. This is gonna actually work. I might have an idea for this. Oh, and if you're watching me do this thing on YouTube and you see me struggle with designs, and you're a far better designer than I'm ever gonna be then do I like I said do leave your comments with uh, links links people links is the magic word links to images so I can get some ideas on what to do or how to create this thing so far what I have here is uh, an idea of what I want to do and the idea here is that all of these three containers here uh, they're gonna be connected so inside you're not gonna have those walls in between them they're gonna be like gone so you have this all uh, open space I can divide it up in different rooms I want to have like a stairway up here that is going to go up on the second floor second floor is gonna be like uh, this thing here can be the children's room like I was uh, saying 
and one of these uh, things that are like one of these containers that are over uh, hanging over here I can cut it up from about here or from about here to about there and have a sloped uh, glass cover which is gonna be an interesting look for the uh, exterior and it's gonna give it a lot of uh, places where you can get some light Yeah, houses don't need to be complicated, but uh, houses that are boring are not no fun for a stream. So, you know, let's make it interesting. And for this thing, uh, what I want to do, at least here, is something like this. Let's just go in for the box. All right, so let's give it up 20 centimeters. And I did poly. Move this thing to about there. Yeah, this can work. All right, so one there, one beam over here. Yeah, so with this thing uh, done, what I can do is uh, go in here, put another plane. All right, so what I had in mind, let's see how big this thing is. I can measure this and it's, holy shit, this is like five meters. Five meters is quite a lot. So this can be a place for a garage. So you can just uh, come in here, park a car. Hell, you can park two cars in here then. And on this side here, I can make it into a patio or whatever so I can make this thing a patio and this thing something else hmm all right this, this can be interesting so this thing is gonna be a patio let's test it over here So I can either have this thing as a patio Well, you know this uh, Piece right here. I was thinking about making it into like yeah, either a deck or uh, some sort of a um, terrace or some sort of a, a balcony Basically, oh snap, I can actually come in here and put in some uh, one of those uh, chair bed chairs like you use for sunbathing or whatever. This is going to be interesting here then. This, this is going to be fun to create. Now I'm just trying to like figure out how this thing is going to look like when I create this thing. All right, so... What happens is I'm probably gonna get something like these two lines. So the car is going to come all the way here. Let's make this thing into a smooth. Oh hell no! Anyway. All right, so the car can go. From there to here. Oh yeah, another thing. I use metal catwalks in the second story to go between. Yeah, I can use uh, metal catwalks in the second story to go between them, but we'll see. Uh, that's gonna be more in case of when we start doing the interior and how I wanna get that thing done. I don't wanna do a metal staircase on the outside though. I'm gonna have a way to move inside the house from one story to the other one. So, the car is gonna come from in here. 
park in there and be gone. And this thing now. Now the real question is how how interesting this thing would be if you have a patio which would be on this side right here and when you're sitting here you're basically looking at the car that would be that would be a great idea for somebody who's got a great looking car or somebody who's a car lover but it's gonna suck balls for anybody who's not a, a fan of uh, cars you know you come out you want to relax and just like look at your big car uh, not, not really fun so something like here and this thing here is probably going to be used up for something else. We'll see. Another thing that uh, would be an interesting choice that's going to have to be made sooner or later is how do we want to have the actual exterior? Like, is it going to be like bare metal? Or are we going to go for something like, uh, like I said, bare metal like this? Or cover it up with something like maybe like wood or yeah, panels yeah, wooden panels like they like these mm, this is a lot of choices I actually like this idea because you have a lot of white wood uh, with black decals and white and black always goes great oh snap we can actually use some water drainage for the ceiling yeah 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 yeah, yeah. all right well then i guess a design like this is gonna work but i'm gonna have to like play around all right all right so i'm gonna go back to open up All right, man. We're gonna use that. I can actually use uh, like a sh exposed metal and combine it up with some uh, wood for the patio or whatever, and we can try to find a me uh, happy medium in between. Okay. So now what I want to do is uh, I want to create some elements for this thing so I'm gonna open up select all of these uh, elements that are for the actual door this move it oh hello yeah something like that when I have to find which parts to like expose and I can tell you one thing, uh, at the moment I have no idea how that thing is going to look, but as soon as we start making it and actually see it, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some ideas on how to do this thing. So what I want to do now is get everything here grouped up as a different layer, put it as a front door and hide it. With this group because screw groups. What is this? Okay, so this is again for the front door. Go inside the front door. How do I create it? God damn it. There we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to cut out a few uh, versions of these walls so they can have them with actual uh, holes for it so we can use up some windows. But before I do that, give me a sec just so I can get some uh, glass water. Be right back.
all right note to self for an extreme get water all right <clears throat> We have this wall and this one. All right, so I'm going to make a copy of this thing as it is and isolate it. Let's create one version like this. Now, the good question here is how big is a window? So let's try it like this, window size. Google says that a window size is why in inches? Why are you showing me inches? What is a standard window size? Seven inches, 24 inch by 24. All right, inch to centimeter. So 24, 61 by 61. All right, I can I can live with that. I'm giving me silly measurements. So let's see this thing. So 61 by 61. What the? What the heck is that? That's a window? No. That's a that's a cat door. This is the size that you would need for a cat to go in your goddamn house. Hold on a second. Something's something's not right. guy 95 all right so definitely not that small I keep forgetting that this thing is a really tall thing so yeah if this is a window then no Bullshit. So let's try 90 by 90. Mm, more in tune, but let's try 140 by 140. Yeah, this is a much better look, at least for this house. It doesn't have to go all the way up there, but. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is gonna be more in tune with what we want. So when you're like looking out the window, it's about the size of the window starts at around your pelvis. You can go look out, look down, you can see stuff. Yeah, I think this is more or less okay. So for this, I'm gonna take that thing and snap it on the here, take this thing and snap it over there. Now comes the interesting part where we're gonna have to decide where we want to put this thing. I'm gonna put it about there. And the reason why I'm putting it there is because I'm trying to cheat as much as I can so I can just cut out about here yep this this is the great place to cut when i say cheat i want to cut this thing um uh, before it gets to a beam i can save myself some headaches so cut this thing over there cut that thing snap it up over there amazing now you can move up front up out of the way and what's gonna happen here is select everything in 
here except that thing because that thing is well actually yes with that thing delete this is the right thing the right size yep the size is right and now what I'm gonna need to do is create a cover for this thing and since I have this plane I can just go in here select my border create the shape it's a linear shape it's fine now I can just take that uh, line that I created make it a rectangular thing move it inwards and now scale it into a point where I'm actually happy with this thing the thickness oh yeah oh yeah thickness should be better like there and five centimeters no too little ten yeah, I think ten centimeters is gonna cover it all right you go back at the poly All right. move those two and those two thing as a window select okay so now let's see an isolate move it outwards and put this thing in a different layer window wall wall walls put this thing again with their own layer Inside the walls of both of these can be called their own layer, and this layer can be called. Damn it! How do you rename you? Rename. Mm -hmm. Four walls. I'm gonna actually. Oh no no no! No, no you can. You can screw okay, so I have my four walls. I have a window wall. I'm gonna have to create some walls for a door. And 
I'm gonna have to see about creating some beams for interior structure integrity. That's gonna be interesting. All right. Ideas from you guys. What would, what might be uh, need here? Mm -hmm. All right, let me just check in. The size for door. Um, like that, like that. So it's um, door size. This thing does not go that way. Let's test it out on a different way that I know how to do this thing. And that is by checking out one of the material, uh, one of the models that I've already created of doors. So let's do it like that. Doors. Some of these doors, but these are interior doors. Might actually be okay for oh yeah the sliding doors actually is a really really good idea for the outside though ideas from the first stream there were some sliding doors yeah, see? something like this or a window like this one and this is a this is a great window This is this is what I had in mind when I was uh, talking about getting some support beams for the overhang and making it into a garage. This is the idea that I had. Oh, this is a really nice idea as well. Okay, so we're gonna make a sliding door for the side, which can open up some possibilities if you wanna enter the house through the actual side instead of going through the, uh, well, the entrance for the big door that we had. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is unhide my layers. So hide this thing, four walls, copy it over, and create a new layer, call this sliding door wall. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'm gonna try and create something like this. And this pretty much tells me that this thing has uh, two doors in which one is a slider and the other one is, I'm guessing it's a static one and they can fold on each other and open up quite a big of uh, area over here, which is a nice idea. That's actually a really good idea, man. Thanks. Now let's just see. Oh, snap. There is no need to actually check for sizes because these are custom doors. Oh, you do? That's a really, that's a really cool thing, man. So for these, uh, creating them, I don't really need to know the size because from what I can see, they span from the top to the bottom. So there's no cutting media, just go in, cut where the hell I want to uh, cut this thing in. And all right, so let's go and say that I like <clears throat> what I do. So I'm gonna uh, this thing can be five meters, five hundred five meters. That's great. That means about two and a half meters per door. That's gonna be a big ass door. Don't be that big. It's only gonna mean one thing that I can use this thing as a sort of a guide. Height about there. Height about there. Yep, straight. of them oh yeah go one there another one over there this thing in now I can extract again the same thing I did with the uh, windows I can create a shape a linear thing and this can be the rail for the actual um, door will it require me to do some minor adjustments but Again, very, very minor adjustments. Just snap that thing down there. Snap this thing up here. With the hell up. No, no. Five. So since I have that, what I can do, since I want to have two doors that are going to have it the same size, I can connect this thing like so. And now from here, I can extract two uh, pieces. So the first one is going to be a clone of this. And since this thing is going to go in here. So just fine. And inset. Let's give it 10 centimeters. And 
delete this so I have something to work with. On the Z axis, snap it down. Snap it there. Does it look like it's crooked? No, it's not. My bad. Alright, so a small shell. I have to check how thick this thing is. So, so when it gets to thickness, I have 10 centimeters and the X. Alright, so if these two are five centimeters, that's ten centimeters, but I need to have like at least one centimeter in between them. So out of four. And if I have four centimeters, that means that these two doors, when they come next to each other, they're gonna have some space in between them, but it's still gonna be inside the rails. So move this thing center more like that right, that's fine we have a bit of an overlap over here if we do that's gonna be great Overlap. Actually, this is exactly what I was hoping for because I don't want them to basically not touch here, but we do want them to touch. So, this is exactly what we want to have. So, for now, when this thing goes back, it's probably gonna go to about here, like that, and it opens up. All the way up, up front. All right. Now the only thing I want to add in here is going to side the middle, ring, and connect. For this thing, I want to connect with two segments. very small chamfer on both of those edges that I just created. Oh, okay, it goes all the way. No, not a chamfer, but an extrude. That's gonna be minus one. With a 0 0.75. I click OK. What this is going to do is give us a look like it's basically rolling on there. So a very small chamfer here can. I do mean a very, very small chamfer, 0 0.1. Give us some emphasis on that roller and on the edges. For now, I'm actually not even gonna bother about these because I'm gonna use them at, again the same chamfer, like 0.5 and a 0.5 tension. Base bed based. You see, this is the problem that I was talking about. This thing, we don't wanna have this thing. We're gonna have a bit of an overlap. So it's moving. I want it to move in like that yeah but this is an easy fix oops wait a second that's actually 
pretty good. Alright, we have that thing going, which means that now I can go in here, select one of these uh, inner pieces and create a shape out of it. I get a little one. This time around though, what we want to do is turn off the enabling rendering viewport, give this thing a shell of 0.1. Control X to make it see through because this is supposed to be glass and it's going to make it easier for me to see where I want to put it in. Like so. All right, so we have this big glass thing. Another one would be to get it up here. Same thing again. Shell create. Shell by 0 0.1. Move it in, like so. All right. We have this thing. And what I want to do is add in this door handle so we know exactly how to open it up. And that is actually going to stop it to slide off from the all the way up to the back. So, all right, so put it right there. So, create a cylinder. cylinder should be a smaller one. Let's write 12. Add it poly. I could have used the damn pill, but whatever. Move it downwards. make this thing on top and on the bottom with a holder and a bar connecting both of them so something like this go over here rotate around 880 degrees and then you come in in a line like this So, and the viewport, a very small one by one, just the middle, so two by two. Yeah, this is better. So, edit poly on top of this thing, remove this edge here. Remove those two on the inside. Chamfer this thing. Zero point five. 
Turbo smooth with the smoothing loops. See what happens when I put a small group in this thing. There we go. Much better. Look. Let's nice. control I, so like everything else. Point five chamfer on this. All right, we have a handle for the door. Uh, So this whole thing here is fine. All right, we can call that thing done as well. So, so far what we have here is a uh, piece for when it comes down to the walls, where we have the full walls, which came with the original uh, design. We have a wall where we have a cutout for a window, which we're going to have to see what sort of a window we would like to uh, create. And then we have uh, another wall with a sliding door. This is actually really good design wise because it opens up our house for a different look. So we don't just have to like use what we have on the sides. So we can just cover up the sides with a uh, regular wall and uh, use this thing as an entry, entry point, which opens up, like I said, uh, it opens up our design to a different interpretation of how we want to make our uh, surrounding. All right, so what I can see, we still have about 10 more minutes left from the stream. And since I don't want to go ahead and start up on another piece, for the wall because I'm running a bit dry on ideas and what sort of ideas we would like to have for this thing. Uh, I would like to ask if you guys uh, have been watching this thing or if you're following any of the three streams so far to leave your ideas, like leave your ideas in the comments. They will help me a lot. And at the same time, if uh, you find something that might be interesting for you guys, you get you get to see me do it all right so i guess i would like to thank everybody that was on the stream today all the people that commented you guys are the best and the next stream is probably going to be on tuesday i will try my best to do it on tuesday so i guess that's going to be in two days so depending on how uh, how much free time I get and uh, depending on you guys leaving your ideas on uh, YouTube in the comment section it's either gonna be Tuesday or Thursday I will leave a uh, event on the twitch channel so if you're following me there you should get a notification and like I said again I really uh, would love it if you guys leave your comments over there 
as they really do, will help me a lot. Like I say in all of my videos, uh, share, like, and subscribe because that kind of helps people get uh, the idea or the info about these kinds of streams. And if they come in and they give uh, give their ideas, the stream gets a lot better. Today the man of the match was Free W67. So props up to you, brother. Thank you for everything. And I will see you all on either Tuesday or Thursday. Have fun, everybody, and have a great weekend. That's going to be about all up for me. Yep. Cheers, guys.